Hi, this is Stacy Higginbotham with Giga Ohm, and I am here with John Malier, Chief Architect at Telcordia. Yes. Hi, John. Hi, how are you doing, Stacey? I'm doing well. Um, let's talk about databases and using a database to interact with a radio, like sure. you guys are doing with White Spaces, and kind of let's talk about what that means and then what this technology could be used for beyond just delivering White Spaces broadband. Well, first of all, as we shared, the database today allows us to determine which channels are available. When a white space device queries our database, we figure out what protect entities are out there, and the available channels are the opposite of what's being used. So a device can actually use the database to determine channels to create a wireless broadband network, which will be helpful in the future for establishing broadband in areas where today there's not enough facilities or fiber to go to the home. In the future, the same database technology, the ability to have rules and policy deployed, can be used for other spectrum areas, for example, in the 5 gigahertz area, um, maybe in military applications, where not only is the location of the radio from the spectrum important, but the time of day, the direction of the antenna can all be applied as policies, and then provide that information back to a device in a very standard form. So this allows us to take finite, a finite amount of airwaves and basically, if they're not being used for something that's like high national security or something else, we could then use them for broadband or playing Angry Birds or something. Yes, again, it's bringing internet to the consumer and hopefully a cost-effective, high-capacity manner using spectrum that otherwise would be idle. So in this particular situation, as we're talking about TV white space, as we move from the analog to digital TV transition, it opened up spectrum. In the future, other spectrum areas, other frequency bands can be looked at to see again if there's the opportunity to better utilize that spectrum. And the FCC is looking at dynamic spectrum access, is that what it's called? So the, the general technology term, dynamic spectrum access, is the ability in real time to determine what spectrum is available. So in this particular case, the geolocation database uses dynamic spectrum access technologies, but using a location of the device being transmitted to be able to determine what's available at that particular location. So is the FCC actually looking at this beyond in white spaces, or are they kind of seeing how this is go going to go, or kind of? Uh, I can't speak for the FCC. However, I do believe this is a proving ground to determine if that technology is applicable to other areas. There are other applications for DSA outside of the FCC, for example, NTIA and a set of military applications. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome.